How's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back. Today, I am going to go ahead and share with you guys my thoughts and review and a little bit of a kind of get it ready with me, um, do a little bit of a look with the Rock Mega Pro 3. So if you guys would like to hear my thoughts, review, and even some swatches, keep on watching. Okay, so before I get started, I kind of did a little things backwards, but before I fully was getting into my whole uh, look with my palette, I just wanted to come on here and also do a shout out because we had a shout out Saturday. It was for True Cat 105, that her, her channel name, True Cat 105, and her name is Andrea. And um, I've been watching her for quite some time now since I've been in the shout out group and the Mab group and everything. Um, yeah, I believe she is in the Mab group, which stands for the Middle Age Beauties. She's actually another one of them sweet southern ladies that I really enjoy watching on here. Um, she's very I don't know there's just something that she draws me in and she has this sweet uh warming feeling that you know you could just sit down and if you were her neighbor or something like that you'd sit down have that cup of coffee and also her son sometimes pops on with some of her videos which is he's so cute i can't think of his name but he is so adorable and he gets so enthusiastic when he's with her it's so cute i mean he's like already youtube pro on that part you know and everything so please go check her out she is such a super wonderful person all right first i'm gonna go ahead and just do an eye look um along with you guys the first shade i think i'm gonna go in with is the pink cream that's at the top here it's called pink cream and i'm gonna go ahead and put that all over on my eyelid and all well all over on the eyelid itself and kind of use it Woo! Woo! i need to remember be remembering these are pretty pigmented i'm used to other eyeshadows and i always forget I'm going to put pink cream all over. After the pink cream, oh boy, just I feel like I feel a little overwhelmed because I was super excited of getting this. And now it's like all of a sudden I feel overwhelmed in what I really want to put on. I'm kind of feeling the color pecan. That's this one right here, the third one in pecan. I'm going to do that one using a blending brush. This one's from my Jap, Jap, Japanesque, how am I going to say that? Collection. Windshield wiper motion in the crease, kind of and above area, is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to go the whole way over. shade let's see maybe I'll go down here toffee the shade right there toffee I think I'll do that a little bit above I'm gonna work that just above a little bit on the outer edges up and through here very lightly okay on my eyelids I'm feeling a shimmer shade for sure a shimmer, 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 shimmer. <sighs> I feel overwhelmed again. But you know what? I see this color. It's kind of calling my name. And it's the shade Bellini. It's right here. So I'm going to do that on the lid. I'm feeling like I'm going to go back into the pecan can shade just a little bit and go back into this corner area and kind of work like 
back and forth. I feel like I want to use the shade called Maple. This shade right here, Maple. I want to use it outer corner here in a V corner thing. I want to, I want to use Maple. Then I'm just going to use one of my little, I think is this a shader brush or what is this one called? Smudge brush or something. I'm going to use that little guy. I'm going to go ahead and use the shade Snow. That's that pretty frosted shade. I'm going to use that uh, right around the brow bone area. Her eyeshadows. Okay, I'll be back because I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit more to uh, my eye area and the makeup and everything. And I'm going to work down below here. I can come back and tell you what I'm going to put down below there. So I will be back. Okay, so I got a lot of the rest of my makeup on. I don't have my uh, lower mascara. So I think what I might do is take the maple shade that I used a while ago and work that down halfway through the bottom lash line area. Toffee shade that I used and take that and work towards the front and in through the middle halfway. And I think I'm going to take my little pinky finger and dig into the, no, well not dig into, but get into the snow shade and kind of put right here in the inner corner. Then I'm going to do my bottom lashes and I'll be right back. Okay, so you guys got to see me um, apply the eyeshadows and do um, a created look for with the palette. I mean, for the palette with the palette and now I'm going to share some swatches with you guys and then I'll give you my overall thoughts. So as with all the Lorac Pro they always put shimmers and mattes in there since this is a mega one there's two rows of the mattes two rows of the shimmer. So let's go ahead and start with there's pink cream There's tan, pecan, kind of did this backwards here, my bad, and wal yeah, walnut. So there's the first four. That's pink cream. I did a little bit backwards. That's tan, that's pecan, and then that's walnut. Kind of did a little backwards, but then we go into Dusty Mauve, Violet Gray, uh, Eggplant, and 
dark navy. There's that row there. Holy cow. <laughs> so that's crazy. There's Dusty Mob loving that shade. Violet Gray. Eggplant. And what's this one? Dark Navy. Let's go into the second row. We have Crepe. I think that's how you're pronouncing it. Or we're supposed to pronounce it. Uh, toffee, which I used. Uh, mist and vintage. So there's a uh, crib, toffee, mist, and vintage. Next four we have hickory, maple, loving maple. Park, oh wait, bark, I'm sorry, bark, and a jet black. That is insane pigmentation there. Okay, so we have hickory, maple, bark, and jet black. Mind you, that's even without, um, primer because I don't have no primer in my hands. Now we're going to get into the shimmers. There's snow, uh, kava, cider, and bellini. So we have snow, kava, Cider and Bellini. Okay, the next four we have brown sugar. Brown sugar. How can we taste so good? Um, Sequoi. Sequoi. I'm not even sure how to pronounce that one for sure. Dorn. Put it on the wrong one. Glacier. And a deep fog. Okay, so we have brown sugar, sequa, sequia, sequia, maybe that's what it is, glacier, and deep fog. I'm digging that one right here. Mist, is that what? No, glacier, I mean. Oh. Beautiful. Last row we have Tale. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it or not. Pink Bronze. Oh, I did it wrong again. Rust. And Rose Quartz. Okay, so that's Tale. I don't know if that's um you pronounce it or not, but I'm just guessing. Pink bronze, rust, and rose quartz. And then the last shades are olive, dark roast. Uh, pomegranate and licorice. So there's dark, or that's olive, dark roast, pomegranate, and licorice. Okay, so my overall thought on the Lorac Mega Pro 3. Um, I was super excited to get this because I am a Lorac lover. I love their eyeshadows. Um, I don't have any of the unzipped ones, but I have a lot of their pro mat or their pro eyeshadows and I've always really loved them. So they're like a company that I really enjoy their palettes and everything. This here 
is really pretty. It is white with some rose gold um, on the whole display of everything. So I like that. It does look kind of a little elegant on that part. Um, and then of course, when you open it up, you do have your the protector there for all your eyeshadows. And with all of them, as they do too, they come with the mirror. Overall, as you see my swatches, you know, you have the mattes, you have the shimmers, and um, I just, I think it's a really, really gorgeous palette. I think this is one of their, um, one of their palettes that's so versatile for people. And what I mean by that part is that people that maybe just like uh, nice warm tones and neutral tones and everything and like this will work for anybody it's not over the top too much but it's 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 a really nice color combination i really like the colors a lot i also feel if you are a palette somebody that loves to collect palettes or enjoy your palettes this is definitely you know, something you probably will want to get. Also, as you see with the swatches, I mean, the pigmentation is there. Totally, totally the pigmentation is there. They blend very nice for me. I've never really had any problems with any of their eyeshadows for my own personal self. So the um, the pigmentation you've seen is is just top notch, in my opinion. It's They're gorgeous. Um, a lot of them are buttery and soft. They do, however, kick up a lot of product, um, but that's not no bothersome for me. I'm not very, you know, picky with it, kicking up a lot of product, um, but just be aware of that. If you are somebody that, you know, is wondering, it does kick up a lot of product. The thing that's not so good about the palette, the bad part is that it is white, so it is going to get dirty faster. I totally agree with a lot of other people on that part. I mean, it's gorgeous and elegant. I do like the white and the rose gold. I mean, that is pretty, to me, um, classy and elegant in, in, in for me and everything. But it is going to get dirty pretty quick and fast. I'll put a link down below to Lulu on Beauty. She did a great demonstration and DIY. She got from the, a craft store or something where you can put a plastic uh, plastic on top and on the back uh, part to kind of protect the this whole part, the front and the back. Um, not the inside, obviously the inside's kind of, there's no way getting around that. There's just no way. I mean, maybe if somebody has some other tip, but I don't foresee any other way of like, you're going to get the inside dirty totally, which you'll see here, mine in a minute, but I'll put a link to hers below. I like that idea. I think I'm actually going to do that. I kind of hated to do anything today because I haven't gotten anything, but so far I'm trying to be very careful with not getting anything on it, but inside I totally do. If you can see right where the mauves and all those shades, you can already see, you know, it's it's gonna get dirty. There's just no way of getting around that. And then also, you, you could totally get these colors in other palettes. It's not like something that's unique and different. That's just, you know, like it's not unique and different. There is a lot of these colors you could get in other palettes without a doubt, you know, definitely. Um, but I'm a big fan of Lorac and I love these palettes. Um, so if you're like me, you know, you're going to want to add this to your collection. And I also, I probably, the other good part I forgot to add in there is if you are somebody that doesn't have many palettes or no palettes at all, or just starting out, this would really be a good one for you to start off with to have your warm neutral tones. It does retail for $60, which that's what it was last year because I noticed on my order for last year. I am lucky I did get the first one and I do have the second one. There, there is some cool tones to work in there with your with your looks too, but I I love it. I love Lorac. They're like um, a, a, one of my favorite brands out there. So that's my thoughts on the Lorac Mega Pro 3 palette. 
So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed. And I tried to do a little different with the whole thing. Um, so yeah, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would appreciate that very much and it helped me out a lot. Um, also, if you are not subscribed to my channel, you can join me each week. Go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. And I'd so love to have you. And as always, beauties, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, you take care. I will see you then. Love you. Bye.